Some while ago I made a video about shield walls and I, I suggested that I felt that it was unlikely that people marched into battle expecting to try to win the engagement by having a shoving match. Uh, that men don't actually want to get that close to the opposition because they don't want their throats slit. They don't particularly want to die. They'd much rather that the opposition decided to you know, go somewhere else for a picnic or something. Um, and one point I'm going to add to that is that one of the reasons that I don't think this happens is very simple. It's suffocation. Now, uh, many years ago, a terrible uh, event occurred at a British football ground. A lot of people uh, were let into one end of the stadium and the crowd pushed forwards and there were people up against a barrier. It was a, a metal railing, a set of metal railings, and they were pushed so hard against this that lots of them died from suffocation. Now, uh, I saw something about uh, their designing barriers to prevent this happening. And one of the things they, they came up with was a barrier that was pressure sensitive. And if enough people were pushing against it, it would just collapse and get out of the way. And then the, uh, the crowd would be able to surge onto the pitch and let the pressure off. Um, and they came up with the figure that eight people pushing really hard, a, a crowd eight deep, if you like, pushing against some poor blighter crushed up against the barrier was enough to kill you. So they came up with a barrier that was strong enough to resist, say, five people pushing, but not strong enough for eight. So it, would, it wouldn't just break easily, but it would break before people died. Um, now, a formation eight deep amongst uh, hoplites and the like was quite common. So if you've got seven, guys behind you, and these aren't just people, these are all tough fighting men of combat age pushing as hard as they can, um, you're going to be crushed to death at the front. You're going to have all the breath crushed out of you. And don't forget that you're not, uh, you're not up against a barrier. No, no, you're up against another formation of similar depth pushing the other way. So in fact, you're being pushed with the, the force of 15 men, not just the seven behind you. So you're going to die. You're going to have the breath crushed out of you. If that's the way people went into battle, actually expecting to win battles, um, then they were presumably also expecting to die of suffocation rather than anything else. And we don't generally read of this in the texts. Uh, people talk about you know people being hit with spears and stuff instead. Um, so there you go. That's one of the reasons I don't think it happened. I'm not saying it never happened, because I can understand that how under, under certain ghastly circumstances it could accidentally happen, but I don't think that people went into battle intending for that to be the way that they took on the opposition.